Hi, I'm Anjali from Voodoo Entertainment TV. We have the opportunity for an exclusive conversation with the three guys from RDB, brothers Kuli, Manj and Surj. Come join me as we meet the guys. Hi guys, I'm Anjali from Voodoo Entertainment TV. Hi. 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 It's really a pleasure and a privilege for us to be here with you today. I have Thank the you. chance Thank to you talk for to us. you. Um, for those of us, for those of the viewers who, who don't know which one of you is which, do you mind? Yes. I'm Manj from RDB. Hi, I'm Serge from RDB. And I'm Kuli from RDB. So first of all, we want to congratulate you guys on your amazing success, Thank immense you. results. Thank you very Things much. going really, really well and obviously going to get better over the next few weeks, we hope. Yeah, we um, hope so. Definitely. So tell us a bit about the background, how it all came together, how you got involved. Uh, yeah, so I mean, the film Speedy Sings was first originated um, by the director, uh, sorry, the producer of the film, uh, being very close friends with uh, Manch because he's actually out in Toronto. Okay. And uh, the, the whole production of the film was based out in Toronto as well. Uh, and so they kind of had an idea of, uh, of a film. Mm -hmm. And uh, they first came to us like, we wanted to do some music for the film before even going into the film itself. So we had a, a numerous amount of different uh, songs that we kind of pitched out to them and uh, we pitched out Shira Digon. Uh, and they fell in love with it straight away and they kind of had an idea based on even the song or, uh, uh, to the film. So when they, when they produced the film, uh, we gave them the idea of uh, uh, why don't you try something different on the track? I mean, we've got the track as it is, Manji's vocals on it. Um, let's try, you know, bring in a collaboration because we're, we're kind of known for that from uh, Sing is King and bringing Snoop on to Sing is King. Um, so what, what we did, we said, uh, you know, well, let's get Ludacris on, 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 on top of the track. And they were 100% behind it, and uh, we got in touch with Luda, sent him the beat, and the rest is history. Great stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. So everyone, it was quite a collaborative process. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you've collaborated with some big names over the, over the years. Yeah, I mean, we would like to think so. I mean, uh, Snoop being one of the one of the biggest, one of our icons anyway. I mean, we used to be uh, quite young and, you know, have his T-shirts and follow his music uh, from day one. And uh, then actually sitting with the guy and shooting a music wow. video with him and sitting in the studio was... Quite a dream come true. It really was. It really was. Um, but uh, we work, work with quite a few different uh, mainstream collaborations as well as uh, now that we're in the Bollywood side of uh, the industry, uh, obviously all the big superstars over there, you know, the, the Tom Cruises of Indian industry, uh, Akshay being, you know, our good friend and, and now being our, um, our biggest uh, paycheck as well because <laughs> he brings us the most amount of films. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to work with as many people as possible and I think our music kind of reflects why these people are coming back to us and because, you know, our music is an international sound. It's not, just, yeah, it's not just an Indian style, it's not just a, you know, in, um, a US style, it's, it's has so that connection. Else? Would you ideally like to work with in the future? Who who would you love to collaborate with? Mm. When I get asked a question, I always say Justin Timberlake because he's wicked. Yeah. Because he can sing, he can dance. No, that's what India wants. <laughs> they want yeah. somebody who can sing and dance. That's very true. <coughs> or yeah. or yeah. even Madonna would be good as well. That would be cool. Or if yeah. Michael Jackson was alive, would. I was going to say yeah. yeah. If, if he was around, that would have been our biggest, my biggest collaboration anyway. But. And how do you, as brothers, how do you work together? How, how like, do you argue about ideas? Do you fight? Like, who yeah. wins? We, we love each other, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have discussions. Yeah. And uh, because, magically, there's three of us, we have a very democratic way of organizing things. And if two of us agree, the third one has to shut up. <laughs> That's fair. basically how it works. Silence. <laughs> that will be you me. You had your point. <laughs> it was crap. So what's, what different personalities do you bring to the table like, when, you're, when you're, like, coming up with ideas? Um, well, normally the ideas are flowing from like the melodic uh, idea. Melodic match. Mm. He's match. I normally bring the beats, and Serge we call him our third ear, because he's the, the one critic. Yeah, uh, he's the one that sits outside the office, in this, outside the studio, and then comes in every so often, peeks in, and goes, "That's crap," or "That's the great. voice of reason." Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> because when you're making music, everything sounds the same. After a while, whatever you do, it it sounds great. So he brings a bit of perspective. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good or bad it is. Important. Yeah, Absolutely. very important. It's very important. Very important. Who else would you cite are your biggest influences? Like, I've heard that your dad was probably. Tell yeah. us a bit about how your dad. Our dad writes music. most of our hits. He always has. Wow, why isn't he here today? He should be. He yeah, should yeah be. he's more important than us. He's the really fourth honestly. one. Yeah, yeah. he really is yeah. fourth one. Yeah, imagine him putting him in all the photo shoots and stuff. Like <laughs> <that'd be hilarious. laughs> he should have yeah. been in the music video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a very religious man. Very, <laughs> he's very quiet as well. So I can't see how he fit. But yeah, the first song he wrote for us was Ajamahi, uh, which is still today our biggest ever song. And then after that, he did literally every one of our Bollywood songs from uh, Om Mangalam, Aluchard, Sing is King, right the way up to uh, co writing Shere uh, Dikom wow. as well. So yeah, he's our, like our secret weapon. Secret weapon, definitely. Very cool. I hope you get some of the credit. 
He, he, gets, he, gets, yeah, he gets a paycheck. He gets to say that. He gets, yeah. he gets he the royalties. Gets and he gets recognition at the local Good Blood as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, did you guys actually grow up playing and singing in the Good Blood? We initially yeah. started yeah. from our dad, actually, because uh, what happened was uh, he used to take us to the local temple and, and we used to perform, you know, uh, uh, religious hymns on stage with him. Uh, so slightly he's different uh, from that. Yeah, just, just slightly. slightly, yeah, yeah. slightly. Yeah. Almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we kind of got a passion for music right from then, and it gives an understanding of people's views on you know being on stage and things like that at the same time. Um, and then we've got we've always had a love for technology, and technology has a, such a massive part to play in making music mm. and and doing uh, uh, and having studios etc. So which of you is the most technical? Well, it's hard to say. I think we're all technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. just yeah. all love technology. It used technology. to be just me, but now these guys are surpassing me. And so, yeah. You know when your dad used to go, oh, uh, you know, just you can change the VCR like this, and you'd be like, how's he doing that? And now you're showing your dad, and he's like, what are they doing? That's mm. basically what it's like now. So. And but you know yeah. has a VCR anymore? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We do. <laughs> Still. <laughs> so, those classic movies. So in the storyline of the film, there's the kind of the tension between tradition and the expectations culture, yeah. of parents and culture and, and how you balance that as a child achieving your own dreams. Did you ever, can you relate to that at all? Did you have that tension with your dad giving you the music in the temple and then good one and then taking it to to, a certain, to a certain level, yeah, I would say. Because when we first started off, it was always, you know, uh, mum and dad was like, where are you going? You're going out, you're going clubbing, drugs drinking, blah, 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 etc. Yeah, not that we did that, but they just saying, you know, but the Yeah, they yeah. expected exactly. the worst. And then, you know, our passion was music and making music. And what we love doing is making remixes and stuff at home and then taking it to the club and giving it to the local DJ and saying, just play it. And then when we'd hear it, it's like, oh, wow, look what we've done. Yeah, these are thousands of people dancing to a song. It's yeah. crazy. So, it, and, you know, we had a passion for it, but yet we, we kind of felt a little bit stopped by yeah. parents saying, no, 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 you know, you come late Worrying at night and then you're being crap on But then that you. soon changed when they actually realised that it was our passion to, to make it into a career and not just a hobby and not just something that we just do on, you know, on the side. When no. they realised you were good at it and you had yeah. 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 And, yeah. And, and at the same again. time they got the, 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 the recognition, appreciation. yeah, the appreciation of the, with the local community as well, you know, your kids are doing really well and doing so and so. So that right. was a real kind of positive note and then they were fully involved in everything we do to a point I'd now they're actually yeah. writing our stuff. Dad, our dad actually invested in our first ever studio. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. so. Best love. Yeah. So, so yeah. We've been <laughs> quite blessed. We've, we've, had, we've, had a, we've had a good kind of uh, backing with our with our own family. Yeah. Fantastic. And how, how are you, what's your relationship with Canada at the moment? Because you, obviously the film is based in Toronto, you film, you recorded it in your studio in Toronto. So what's happened to England? Aren't you here anymore? We're what's still going here. on? No, they're, they're still here, yeah. uh, technically. Um, it's just because I got married and I got moved, I moved out to Toronto. So uh, obviously I set up a studio over there and then with me networking with people in Toronto, that's how we got to meet the producer of the film, the director, etc, etc. So that's the connection why, it's because of me, the connection's Sorry, in ladies. Canada, so Man unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's just the, the way it was. But whatever we did, even whether we did it in Canada, whether we did it over here, we always collaborated together. So I'd always come back and work in the studio here and then Colleen Sir to go over there and work over there. So you're kind of... Flying back and forth across yeah, the country. Yeah, we, we, we always use technology. Always, always. So, like, so it doesn't make much difference. No, nah, so we, yeah, we produce. I think that's you. Oh, in the middle. Someone's screaming <laughs> in the middle. Someone's screaming Somebody's dying in your pocket, like. <laughs> Turn the phone. Sorry about that. Nice, professional. Eh? <laughs> Someone more important than us. Okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've always, um, we've always used technology from our first website in 1998. Wow. And then we did RDB TV before YouTube even came out. Then we now we're producing because he's over there. Now we're producing everything over Skype. So like we make a track, I make a beat, I send him over Skype. He loads it into his thing. It's makes really it, kind of says the OMF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's it's very technical. But, very the, technical. but the thing is, we haven't left UK. That's the thing. We're still based based in UK. Good. That's we're, still, really we're still in Bradford. We were getting worried. You know, okay. no, we're still no, making still music for this industry, and uh, we've just expanded, not left, just expanded to yeah. to more. And over your career over the last, what's it been, like 12, 13? Uh, 11 ish, 11 yeah. 12 ish, yeah. Over the years, too you, long, too do long. Do you feel been, yeah. that your style's changed, or what do you think, how you have you developed and changed? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. The more you learn, the more you travel, the more you learn, and the more you learn about music, the more you can implement into your work. So, yeah, without a doubt, the more we've traveled out to all over the world where we've DJed and toured, or whatever, we've picked up the local music there and picked up ideas and, and we've incorporated that into our work. So, yeah, it's definitely changed. So, your vision's just growing as you're yeah, growing. Yeah. Great, and just lastly, the hip hop in the track is obviously a huge influence yeah. and a huge aspect of, of, of the of the single. How do you think that's being received in India? Because obviously, 
hip hop in India is a growing market. It's, it's not big, really it's, as it huge as it is new. But uh, it's it's big right now. I mean, see, I would say it first got introduced when because uh, we didn't we really didn't realize how big hip hop industry is in India until we released Alu Jat. Now Alu Jat is a pure hip hop track, uh, and it's it's a, such a live track, and and that mm -hmm. got accepted in India. It's, Overwe yeah. overwhelming or over past, or over past the film okay, as well. So it was like an untapped market yeah, waiting, exactly. waiting exactly. for you. Exactly. And uh, so when we did Share the Gorm, it just kind of fit into that, that genre and that style as well and that Good following. Stuff. Great. Well, thanks so much, guys. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. All the best. Thank you.